Hi, my name is Lars Roland, and I would like to show you the online MSB430 editor that's part of InventorTown. So this is the front screen, and you need to log in uh, with your Google ID. Uh, I'm already logged into Google, so when I click uh, login, I just get uh, directly into InventorTown here. Um, these are my uh, projects that are stored on the server. Uh, these are things I've made earlier. So I could, for example, go into uh, Blink Test here, and uh, this is then the file. The file is shown here on the left in the main menu, and also uh, here. Uh, so I click the main to see the file. I can also uh, create new files here if I want to. I can uh, create files with extension .c, .h, and .txt. So if I now click on uh, main .c, you can see the file that is. Um, uh, here I can I can edit it as I want to, uh, and I can click save. There is an auto save function as well. Um, when I'm finished with a project, and that might consist of several files, I click uh, compile, and I get to this uh, page here. So here the compilation was a success. If it wasn't a success, uh, I would get uh, uh, an error log down here. Now there is. Um, uh, a programming tool included here that you can install there. Uh, if you don't get it to work, then please uh, let it let me know, and I'll try to fix it. And when that's installed on my computer, I can just uh, simply click that, and uh, now the file, the firmware, is uploaded to my uh, device, my Launchpad device. So. Um, I have my own projects, but I also have. There are also shared projects that uh, other people have made. Uh, I can uh, show you how to clone one of those and make your own. So if I click Servo Library here, for example, that consists of many, many files. I can then change the name. I can change the description. I can change the project license, and also which MCU. I'm going to add more MCUs here if uh, if it's requested by people. Uh, and then I click Create Project. And it actually makes then a project uh, uh, of my own here that I'll find here then in my project as well, Clone Servo Library. Uh, if I uh, want to edit this, I could go into main.c, for example, and I could edit this to do something else. For example, um, I could do um, now. Now it's uh, setting the servo to zero, and then I might want to wait five seconds, and then it's um, setting the servos to ninety degrees, for example, and then uh, I might want to wait another five seconds. And uh, for example, set it to 120 degrees. Uh, this is the setup. Uh, um, so this will run in the beginning, and then down here is a, is a loop where it goes back and forth. Uh, maybe I just want to, instead of looping back and forth, I just want it to to uh, stick on uh, 90. And then I can, um, when I'm finished, I press save, and I press compile. And that's um, compiled successfully with some warnings. And then I can click there to upload to my device. And now my uh, device uh, can run a servo. You could, for example, use that servo library with full rotation servos to, uh, to make a robot. Um, at the moment, you have to, to, to get it to, to actually run the firmware, you have to unplug the, um, the launchpad USB cable and then plug it back in, and it'll use the, uh, the new firmware then. Okay, so that's uh, a quick demo of uh, InventorTown. I hope you uh, will try it out and enjoy using it. It's for free, and um, it's really meant as a as a, a demo and a simple way of uh, of making um, um, making MSP 430 firmwares. Uh, if you want to make more advanced uh, firmwares, you might want to use the, the professional, very expensive tools like IIR or CCS, uh, which also include uh, debuggers. 
Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the presentation.